Whistler BC Cup track. Gonna stay wide on the first turn into this long rock roll. Switch sides. Straight out wide to try and carry speed through that catch. A couple of skimmers coming through. And then you get a rest pretty much straight away. A little flow section before we get back into the rocks here. A little fade away on a rock roll. And we're rough again. Trying to stay high down the roll, carry speed for this flat section. You could lose a lot of time there if you mess it up. We're going to slow down in here. There's a new straight line at the bottom they've opened up. It's going to get super rough by race day. And we're going to chill through this awkward S bend. But at least there's a catch on the exit now. Another little rest before we get into some rough, ruddy grass corners. We're going to try and avoid the first ones. These have been used before, so it's pretty steppy already. We're going to flow through a couple of skimmers. Nice. That's up a width. All right, into the lower half. We're going to follow Cam through off the fadeaway into Detroit. Try and stay low. And this flat right is a bravery game. How late can you break? How much do you trust the traction? Then we're going to float up, drop into the steep rock roll. Race time, you can probably jump into that. We're going to set up wide down the step and rock. And now we get into the rough section of the track. I'm going to try and follow Cam's high line there. I like it. Drop, bounce up over the roots. Try and skim through, off the step down. And that's the roughest section done. But we've still got some tough, steep, loose corners to deal with here. Coming into dark in the trees, you really gotta hope your eyes adjust. And now we're into the Canadian Open. Three pattern jumps that they've just built. Okay, race day, pump these rollers. You're gonna be straight into a sprint. Just gonna speed tuck and rest today. Cam's pulled off for a break. And then in the lower Canadian to finish. They've just done a full rebuild on this. And it is running great. Skip to the high line. Float over. The speed you carry into this step down is almost too much now. Have to fully absorb. But this catch after is beautiful. A little float through the trees. Then into the final gap jump. You can almost skip these last corners straight into the finish. And that's a lap whistle.